Today I finally wrapped up the prototypes for the mechanical uh, calculator workshop with Lego. These are the three prototypes we're going to work from on the day. Um, they're all kind of quite colourful but that's to sort of help um, indicate where the bricks are and sort of just kind of a fun way of uh, showing things. So this is the two bit adder. This is a kind of general mechanical uh, machine <laughs> that demonstrates um, various ways you work with Lego and some innovative ways of working mechanisms and finally we get onto the differential adder. So the two bit adder, they're all based on the 16 by 16 grid which you're going to be re reusing. All use simple bricks um, and each of these is going to be an hour long session, roughly 15 minutes, 10 minutes maybe talking about what we're going to be doing and the concepts and then there'll be a breakout and we'll do this and then there's an hour for this and there's an hour for this. So um, this is going to be taken up in the morning. Now the two bit adder, I've not done a bit of this beforehand, but the way it works is uh, um, indicating states. So this is uh, off and this is on and this is a one and this is a two. So both of these are currently off, so that's currently representing zero zero or um, two zero zero ones and zero twos, so that's zero. I add one to it and then this one is on and then another one and it carries over into the two. So now that two is on and another one. That's the three. So they're quite fun to play with, but also you can stack these. So if you build another one, that would carry on to another one down here. So you could extend this into, say, a you know, 4-bit, 8-bit, 16-bit adder. Lots of fun stuff with that one. Uh, this second one is going to be the hardest part, I think, of the day. Um, because the problem with LEGO is you've got fixed gear sizes and um, you're constrained to how you can combine them. So, for example, this is a 12-tooth gear, this is a 20-tooth gear, and they have to go together um, between... Uh, a, a spacing of three uh, holes and if you want to combine them vertically you always need to add two little mini tiles in there as the spacer so this kind of demonstrates a few of the ideas with that also it demonstrates that you when you're dealing with lots of stress and torque you have to add reinforcement so there's beams here reinforcing that so when you're turning this thing it doesn't um, doesn't snap off um, it also demonstrates this very cool lever combination here which is when you have gears embedded in levers so that's generating an intermittent motion from a rotation. And this mechanism is actually taken from an old um, design for um, a mechanism that had to turn glass valves. So it was like a, a blowtorch and it was turning glass and it would rotate it and rotate it in this kind of rhythm. And so what we've got here is a two gears at the beginning that are slowing down the motion. This one here is generating this intermittent sort of once over. And these here multiplied by three. So what we've got is a kind of one, two, three, one, two, three, a kind of hammering action that you're getting out of that. So that's just a kind of way to get used to the gears, get used to sort of working with Lego, um, but actually quite a, a fiddly build to get right, but we'll see on the day how it goes. And finally, we'll get to the uh, differential adder. So this one is um, um, the one I've shown beforehand, just tied it up a bit. So we have these uh, standard wheels, uh, which are like this wheel here. And all we do is take one of these guides, cut them out. It's a bit fiddly because you have to calibrate it, but you just um, wrap that around here and then you can use that to uh, sum numbers or subtract numbers like that. So those are the main products for the products, projects for the day. Um, and supporting material, what I've got is um, a few of these bigger pieces. I've got this larger 4-bit uh, adder to demonstrate working with larger numbers. So let's say we add uh, 5. So that's now one and four are on, and let's add um, let's add three to five. So now eight is on. So that's a that's kind of a much more complete adder, and it also has this reset switch. So if these are in various states, you can just go reset. Uh, a few other models I've got. I've got the um, planetary adder, which is kind of not really very probably very useful so much on the day. It's kind of a differential combination, but using a planetary gear. And that's more for demonstration purposes. I've got a Hooks Law adder, which is uh, using two springs to uh, combine the forces in the centre here, just to demonstrate different ways of working, or different ways you can work with um, machines. This is kind of supporting material for uh, the differential adder, kind of showing how uh, similar triangles are in effect when you have these kind of two gears by the side. I'm going to do a separate video about this to kind of demonstrate how, how you can really look at differentials. And finally, I've got the 
full um, digit, two digit, digit adder. So here we'll put on uh, zero and zero. It's giving a zero. And if I say what's eleven plus twenty-two, it's thirty-three. Um, similarly, let's say what's what's fifty-two uh, minus twenty-three, thirty-nine. Is that right? Is this thing working properly? That's the way up, isn't it? There we go. Let's try a smaller number. So it's 52 minus 0, 52, but you can see these slight intolerances make it a bit hard to read. So it's 52 minus 8, and it's giving me 43. There we go. So you can see there's imperfections in this, but really it's just to demonstrate that you can um, combine digits here and uh, do quite elaborate um, addition with, with differentials. This is also demonstrating that this dif differential here is effectively uh, adding these together and dividing by two because it's an uh, averaging operation. So there's a sef second differential here which is fixed, and because this is kind of a fixed side, it's effectively adding it, um, multiplying that by two. So it's taking um, that plus that divided by 2, multiplied by 2, to give us a plus b. And that's the uh, differential adder.